Yeah, we're back. We got the scouting report on Soul Hip Tote 100. Well, let's get this game going. It's an online rank match game. PS4, Mavericks versus the Pacers. Let's get the tip off going. Let's see who's going to win the tip. It's going to be Dallas winning it. Let's see how the PS4 runs on this. Ellis is driving down. He's going to pass it to Mario. He's going to lay it up. It's going to be a great game. I'm going to check back with y'all later. Enjoy this game. Yeah, Toe Hill has the ball with George Hill. He's going to pop it. It's 4-2. Pacers are up. Let's get this game going. Let's do it. That Hibbert uh, could eventually develop the kind of speed and, and lateral quickness that, that he's done. So pretty impressive that he put all this work in and defied his critics. So hard to try to play defense with the heightened mismatch out there that's on the perimeter. They gave up the three-pointer. Here's Nowitzki. Lays it up and banks it in. Nowitzki's got his first bucket in this one. They are really doing a nice job establishing his presence inside here. That's going to open things up for them on the perimeter going forward. So. Proud of him and happy to take a lesser role. He just wants to get back out there. And the Mavericks making a change here. Gallenberg's checked in. And it's Granger with the jam. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. They better not. They've got to pad their lead any time an opportunity presents itself. And I'll tell you what, that was a golden one there. You know, for a guy his size, he doesn't play above the rim very often like he did on that play. Still got some power behind him, though. Yeah, you let him get in close like that. He'll throw one down hard on him. And when Granger is off, Steve, he's, he's certainly a great player. Well, you love his versatility, his ability to... And that's a shot he had to take. For sure, it was a good decision, just poor execution. Hill with it. Picked up by Ellis. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Brandon Wright's checked in for Marion. Crowder comes in for Vince Carter. And Harris subbed in for Jose Calderon. Crowder, the best to Ellis. From outside the arc. And the three is knocked down. Deep ball, good. Now here's Ellis. He's coming off a 22-point game against Denver. And Kevin, a lot of those points came at the line. So he was very aggressive with his game, attacking the D and capitalizing on those free throws. Watson for three. Oh, he put it down! It accounts. What a shot! I think that one was good. At the buzzer! Boy, ends the quarter with a dead-eye three is a buzzer sound. Right around that 78% mark. And guys, that's really an upgrade over how they shot last season. Not a huge upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. Well, if the Pacers wanted to grab the attention of the league with their postseason play, they certainly did that. They marched through the first two rounds uh, by knocking off the Hawks and the Knicks. And boy, remember, they were a game away from the NBA Finals. Ultimately, the Pacers would fall to the heat, but they put them to the test. Well, Danny Granger played only portions of five games last season, guys, and basically was trying to overcome a torn patella tendon in his left knee. Had to be terribly frustrating for him. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, oh, look out. Hey. <laughs> Going back to Calderon, as good as he is offensively, Steve, you have to manage his matchups defensively. Yeah, especially in today's NBA, the quickness can be so deadly. I think it's true. Calderon sometimes is at the mercy of those faster point guards in the league. But he can really play. He does an awful lot of good things out on the floor. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. That still was the case. The Mavs posted a 500 or better record against every division in the Eastern Conference. Puts it up. And the inside basket is good. And a lot of those wins that month came against Eastern Conference. And it's George finishing it off. 
hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. And the basket good. Now it's a four-point base lead. That's their third straight make off an assist. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here in the last few possessions. Here's Harris. Traps in the tray. Dishes it to right. Over Granger. And that one's good. Right. Wright's got the lead up to one now for the man. Yeah, they're going to need some help there defensively. That matchup is going to be a tough one to deal with. Here's Mahimi. Second quarter ends in a tight one. Mahimi with the miss, but he's your top performers for the first half. Dallas is up by one point. Let's see how this game's gonna turn out. Right now it's tied up, it's 38-38. Monte Ellis gonna pop a three, give the lead to Dallas. It's a three-point lead, let's do it. It's off to Charlotte for him after this game as they take on the Bobcats. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Some really good games going on today. That Charlotte one especially. Now here's Ellis. That drive by Carter. And yes sir, that one drops. That's pretty much been the norm for them. Getting their points off assists and great ball move. Nice rhythm and flow for this team. Tremendous communication and alertness. And he gets it to go. Johnson's got it all tied up now for the Pacers. You know what, guys? He can really light it up from the perimeter at times. One thing that always translates. Justin. Now that only trailed Miami as far as the Eastern Conference teams and their success against the West. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Watson's got four this quarter. Johnson against Terrace. Allen Bear inside. Right now averaging seven points a game. Hits the jump hook. Harris with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. Here's Wright. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that they've been able to, to dominate. Yeah, they chase down that pumpkin often. To protect the rim, so that's why he was open for that transition three. And stolen by Stola. Knocked away. Passes it to D'Alembert. Banked in off the glass. Ill advised shot selection right there, Clark. It really was. I mean, very low percentage shot there. Beautiful finger roll to cap head drive off. He knows how to finish with some flair and flavor, guy. Johnson for three. Johnson missing again. Here's Harris. Got it to go with no time left. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. The Mavericks on top. Up eight. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time. First team. Carter to Marion. Howard down after the assist. Let him into the lane. It's Vince Carter on the win. And it's Carter again missing. I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. Possible shot to block. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Rick Carlisle was going over with his team in that last huddle. He said we are this close to finishing them off, but the job is not done yet, and I don't want to see any let up out there. Well, those are two of Dirk's big strong suits. You know, the, the knee troubles have cropped up, but if he can stay healthy, he should be able to help this team for you know, several more years, I would think. And there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. Ellis kicks to Calderon. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. 
No, that's for sure. Because this guy's holder on pass it to the court. He dishes it to Nowitzki. Six to shoot. Here's Marion. They get it back. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot before a second violation. Oh no, you hate to see that. Those are just the kind of errors that can cost you in a game like this. And George, here we go. Oh, you gotta love this energy right now. They're being hot right when they absolutely have to. Time is up the essence here. I mean, they do not look like they're gonna let down the intensity. Here's Novitsky. And nothing is falling for him right now. Hey, the defense was right there, just waiting. Doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. George dishes to Hibbert. And George, here we go. Boom, he chains it straight down. 102 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Carter. They get it back. Ellis kicks to Calderon. Carter right side. Goes back up. It's good. Oh, what a basket, and at the perfect time. How about the courage and backbone of this guy? Wow. Hill gets the George. Granger outside. Ellis again. George. There was just enough defensive pressure to get him off balance and cause that shot to go awry. Calderon. He feeds it to Nowitzki. Buries it. Nowitzki, what an offensive force he can be. Here's Hibbert. A chance to tie it up, Clark. A three would make it happen. From deep, George. And he gets it back. Poked away. It's stolen by Clark. So it's an arrow victory for the Mavericks pulling out the W. It was tight, but they managed to come up with the win. Ooh, wow, big block by Carter. Saved the game. Oh, man, that was a good game. By three points, tight defense. He held up. Here's the player of the game, Carter, with a big block. And he also had that big shot to give the Dallas the lead. And it was over after that. But here's some highlights and stats. First up. Paul George led the way for the Pacers with 24 points. Dirk came through with Dallas with 14 points. Well, it was a great game. Thanks for watching. I'm going to have some more games for y'all. I'm going to bring out NBA Live 14. Let's see how that plays. Well, till next time, I'm out. Take care. Peace.